what up? Hello. How's everyone doing? <coughs> Welcome to uh, fucking uh, dubstep time. Anyway, so um, someone earlier said they want to learn about rolls or like drum rolls. Uh, I don't know if you mean like fucking uh, hat rolls are normally the context in which I do that. Someone also asked how do you change the BPM of the track. Um, boop, hold on. I got to change the size of my display capture. Bing bong, bing 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 bong, bing bong, bing bong. I have to use the bathroom too badly for how recently I started this stream. That's a fact. And my body didn't tell me until like right now. It's great. It's good timing. Anyway, um, this little box right yonder, bing bong, Let's type in the old 140. Um, uh, like transition roll toms. Mode step does a lot of them. Oh, do you mean like fills? I honestly don't do too many fills. Um, I don't know if you've noticed. I normally fill it with sound design instead of drum rolls and stuff. Um, I could show you. So like, hold on, drums, kick. That's not at all what it was supposed to be. Um, let's see. Good ass kick. Bing bong. But how, but you may know how BPM change in one track. Um, so you can change it up here. Um, and then, or you can also go down to master, turn on automation mode by pressing a, um, if it's not working, make sure you're not in MIDI mode. So pressing M will switch you in and out of MIDI mode right up here. Um, when you're not in MIDI mode and you press a, you can toggle between block and automation mode. So once you're in automation mode, look at your master and almost, I think def by default, it will be song tempo. Um, also B is the shortcut to go into pencil mode, which I don't want to do. Um, can we talk about the set, how you came up with the 3D idea? Also, how many of those IDs were made in quarantine? Almost all of the IDs were made in quarantine. I can go through and just like look at my Twitter and tell you which one. Um, yeah, this kick was made with kick two. Um, it's not perfect, but it's pretty solid. Um, there's some things I'm not crazy about. I was actually talking to, I was in a group, there's a group chat low key. I don't know if they want me to tell you guys, but there's a group chat with like all of us in it basically. <laughs> um, like all of the people you would expect to be in a, in a dubstep producer group chat. There's like 10 of us. Um, and, uh, I forget who was, uh, when I say all, okay. So like me, uh, sudden death, Fizo, Uber, Leo tricks, uh, Ula seal, ominous hash, like all the people. Um, um, all the, like, uh, all the people, like the group of friends basically. Um, so, um, Faizo was talking about phasing and, uh, when he brought up phasing, I was like, oh, you mean, um, like it's basically the dubstep Illuminati. Yeah. Um, like I was like, I wonder if they're all in a group chat and talk to each other. We do. Um, so basically when he brought up phasing, I thought he was, uh, talking about kind of like the concept of this. Let me just like create it really fast. Um, so like if one of them, like, it'd be like if you're, let's say this is only left side and this is only right side, phasing would be like if they're off a little bit, you know what I mean? Um, or another example of phasing would be like layering two sounds on top of each other that have different fundamental harmonics. That would cause phasing. Um, or just like phasing is two signals that are fighting with each other and reducing or adding frequencies that you don't intentionally want that to happen. There's another type of phasing that he was actually referring to. And it's like that you can have a phase of an actual drum sound itself. And so what he means by that, um, let's find like a really simple kick drum with like no transient. So as you can see the phase of this at the start of the sound, it goes up versus the phase could be negative where at the start of the sound it goes down. So a really, really, really thing, really important thing to consider when layering drums is let's say like this can be, hold on, let's go back over here. Uh, 
So the phase is like, I almost want this curve to start right in the middle, like where it's meeting in the middle point right there. Or is that the bottom? Yeah, that's the bottom. So I actually want to start it like where it's in the middle. So if I'm going to get another layer of another kick drum, oh my God, so clean. So here's the thing, really important thing to consider with phasing. If you zoom in super close to your sample and the start of the sample is it like going down and the other layer is like going up, there that, that that's going to conflict. They're like one is adding and one is subtracting. So you're going to sum somewhere in the middle and be left with something that doesn't have the impact. So like if you listen to these together, it just kind of sounds like flabby and weird and it doesn't it's like there's just like some it's hard to put your ears on it and it will be easier to pick out when you train your ears more but versus starting it where they're both going positive. See how it just like, or like if I do it over here. It's, it's extremely subtle, minute differences. Um, but consider phasing or consider your phase. And the phase is basically like where that is. Um, also, every single harmonic that makes up a sound, which is like thousands of layers of that, um, they each have their own like kind of phase. So if you go in and separate the different layers and adjust the phase of where they're starting, um, it can, oh no, I've already lost people. Yeah, this is kind of a really advanced topic. <laughs> How long did it take before I felt comfortable releasing tracks and approaching labels? Um, I was sending horrible music to labels way too early um so it just took a while um before labels started actually responding i kind of was just like sending them off the bat like an idiot like i did i didn't wait i should have waited but i didn't um but yeah that's that was kind of a topic i wanted to touch on today just because i was learning about it last night and i found it very interesting of a. Uh, the direction of the actual start of the wave, whether it's going up or whether it's going down, is kind of like the position. It's, it's very similar. You can analogize it to a, if you were to open up Serum, it's this right here. This knob, this is phase. That's like where the sound starts, whether it's positive or negative along that kind of graph. You know what I mean? So that can really dictate how your sounds interact with each other. Um, and it's something you absolutely want to keep in mind and you kind of want to match up because if you're keeping phase in mind, especially with things like when you're mixing your kicks and your subs if they're mismatched they're just gonna it's like it's so hard to explain but when you listen to it over and over again you can just tell that it it, it, it just they fit together nicer um can i discuss some arp sound design sure arps are dumb stupid easy especially the one i did like in screensaver was like super basic i'll just do a really quick one i can probably recreate the identical arp in like two seconds let's do it stock serum uh, MIDI note on. It's a basic thing. Grow to MIDI effects. Arpeggiator. Bing bong. Slap an OTT on the boy. Maybe just some light. Another OTT, but in Serum, because why not? Um, and let's get the low end out of there because there's too much of it. Maybe some chorus to make it a little bit wider. Turn everything down a little bit because there's too much. Maybe some distortion. Maybe some erosion because I like how that sounds better than the serum distortion. Erosion. Uh, same for phasing in line array or sub stack. Very true. So phasing can cause distortion or is it a loudness thing? Um, it's a type of distortion that it causes. It more just like takes away from the sound. Like when you have one thing going positive and one thing going negative, they're going to sum out to an all together when they're, you know what I mean? There's, they're gonna, I don't know how to fucking, it will sum and it won't be what you want. You have one going this way and one going this way. It's not going to go the same way. It's going to meet somewhere in the middle. Um, yeah, cancel out. Yeah. Or, like, aspects of it will cancel out, not the whole thing. Um, can I talk about how I layer my bases? Um, kind of the concept of when I layer my bases, um, 
I kind of assign certain basses to certain frequencies. So like if I have one bass that's going and I'm like, well, this entire song needs more lower mid, I'll like sound design a bass with like lower mids in mind. And if that's like, well, it's cool, but it needs more high end, I'll sound design a bass with like high end in mind. So the frequency spectrum is being uh, filled out between all of the basses. When will the new IDs come out? No idea. Still need to fix them and make them. Do you mix as I go in the projects? I kind of, yeah, I do really mix as I go. Do I use linear phase EQ or do I think it doesn't make a difference? Um, it probably does make a difference, but I don't use it because I don't want to do that to my CPU. Oh, release uh, Professor Chaos. How do you make original serum since uh, time and practice and effort? So let's do one real quick. Um, I'm going to do this actually with some wavetables that Symbionic just sent me because I haven't played with them yet and I kind of want to. Or actually, no, we can do something more interesting. Um, perhaps something that would be more easy for you to guys do from where you are. Um, let's go to, let's see, clips, like Ableton Basic clips. <laughs> Whatever. Oh no, because it's an ALC, it won't work. Um, I was gonna drag a sample into Serum. I might still just do that. So, I mean, you know. It's so modern talking. So modern talking sounding. <laughs> Truly awful. <laughs> Truly awful. I was, that was the random approach. FM from sub, do it fine. Well, I'm using a low pass filter. That would explain why it has like nothing at all going on. That's interesting. So we'll do a notch filter. Or not. Get a multi filter. I'm kind of just going random. Um, you know, I don't know why. This is probably someone being like, I'm watching your Twitch stream. You need to slow the fuck down. Because uh, no one can follow along. But it's fine. So the phase, uh, that would make more noticeable of a difference if I was FMing stuff. And I can change the, no I can't, okay. Which imager? They all haven't displayed the most part. Uh, do I like using ring mod? I kind of do. Um, I'm not sure if I like using it on bases. I love using ring mod on like a, 
long-term sweeps. I'm not really following because I use the stock operator to make my sense, but I'm just happy to be here. Hell yeah. I can do some operator stuff as well. I feel like so much of sound designing is just being able to uh, turn knobs quickly without thinking about it um, and being able to randomize and just being able to move fast um, and keeping that kind of juice flowing um, in a sense. Like, because as soon as you start getting tripped up on, like, well, should I, well, should I, well, what, it, 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 then you just get fucking stuck super quick. So you want to just be able to, like, force yourself to just, like, go. Just start doing shit. Um, and the more, more things you practice over and over again, the fastest you'll be able to just start throwing techniques at things. So, like, for example, right now, I'm going to do something that rarely pans out well, I'll be honest. Um, but I'm going to put an LFO mod on the decay time of this tonal delay. So I'm going to map this to this. Depth is going to be way less. Offset's going to be way less. I'm going to make it synced. There's a phase here, you can also control the phase of where it starts, whether it starts exactly right or if it starts delayed off a little bit. That's kind of what phase means a little bit. <laughs> Truly awful. <laughs> we can try doing some stuff to it. What's permute? Don't know what that does. Oh no! I remember what that is and it's weird and strange, so goodbye. <laughs> clip my old friend that I haven't had because I'm not on this computer normally. Reset to default. Make sure to press these buttons. Oh no. You can stay at one over four. This is so generic sounding, it's fine. Because at the start of every sound is generic, and then you get it more interesting, normally through resampling. God, that sound sucks, buttholes. It's fine. So I'm going to resample this. And then on top of that, I'm also going to automate this as well. I'm going to hopefully get some weird pronunciations. Grid, did I ask for you? I specifically said to go away. Bing bong. Didn't work out too well. Let's see. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm going to map this to a macro. And I'm going to set it so the range cannot go nearly as high. And instead of... Cool, so I'm going to automate this instead. I almost want to say let's resample that one because I'm going to pitch it down to make it slower. Command T, drag that shit over. Cool, so we got some like interesting weird things going on over here that I can stretch and fuck with.
bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. Wow filter, because why not, maybe? Oh, cool. That's fine. It's from like five years ago. That makes sense. I understand. I don't need you anyway. It's fine. Um, cool. Let's do maybe some pitching. Just throw in different things that are worth trying to change. Add it. Hey, someone donated $10. This is along the lines of what you're talking about with phase canceling. This video goes pretty well. Um, let me see what you're saying because you're probably totally right. There was a video I was referring to specifically. How do I see that actual message? It got cut off. On my stream labs. Oh no, I'm dumb idiot. Okay, so I'll just show you. See how it cuts off right there? I'm new to Twitch. I don't know exactly. I can find the video and post it in the chat for sure. Um, if anyone knows how to f read that full message, uh, for sure tell me. And I'll read it for the class. In the meantime, I'm going to find this uh, video that I watched last night that was mega helpful. Hey, EDC set is at 80K in three days. That's pretty cool. Didn't even expect that to blow up like that. Um, I have a link if you want to post it here. You can. Um, drum phase alignment for lower kicks for for your kicks. Ew, it was such a, it was, I could tell it was Sadowick because of just how Canadian he was. <laughs> oh, it was such a good video. Now I can't find it. I'm going to check Team Dingle, the secret Illuminati group chat. Um, someone's going to, can I just drop this already? What song is it? Oh. <laughs> Team Dangle, there it is. Oh, I gotta repost the Tug and Goot stuff. Oh wow, there's so many Tug and Goot stuff, and oh, they finally gave us their sample pack. Yeah. Holy shit, this is such a long conversation that I did not see this morning. Good lord, I want to read this. What is... Oh no! People are still playing rips? I shouldn't be reading this, but let me find this video. Definitely a different video then, because it's not two hours long. God damn, why? I actually want to read all of this. Uh, God, they're just like talking about everything. Found it. It is this tutorial. I did not quit vaping. I did for a little bit, and then I did not, because um, I was on tour. Someone says that every single time I vape, and it's been like months since I've started vaping again. Uh, one delay, five utilities, full gain, two OTTs, and a limiter. How dare you, Dr. Adi was showing me on one of his streams. That sounds like really specific. Um, cool. So, oh no. Back to my nonsensical sound designing. Where's the pitch? There it is. Cool. Too much. That's kind of neat. more do I want to do to more and this as well perhaps a notch See, 
see, do you guys see what I'm saying when, uh, about the randomization aspect of things? Bing bong, bing 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 bong. I thought I told you to resample. And we are left with one half cooked wob. Isn't Echo Bow tight? But this is something I would really just layer with stuff. Hey, someone is cheering bits. That's the Al Ross button. And then the Boogie T button is right here. I should ghost produce for people. Just kidding. I want Vocodex and I can't because I'm in Ableton and I cry about it every day. What are you guys thinking? I hope you can't see because it's Vocodex and it's in the way. Let me move my big dumb head. Where is it at? Um, webcam stuff. Uh, that works, right? No? Here we go. Yeah. That works. Now you guys can't complain about me clipping all the time. Pixel Terror has Vocodex and Ableton. Well, uh, you know... It ain't he lucky. <laughs> I make intros all the time, bruv. Uh, add reverb to the bass with zero second delay and mess with the depth in OTT. That's essentially in principle just like any kind of time-based tonal delay effect. Um, I could do that with a toast of things. I like doing it not with glue compressor, with I like doing it with grain delay um, and setting the sync really short. Sounds like trash with this sound, um, but also convulsion reverb is a really good example of where this is a good thing. Ugh. Convulsion reverb is not on this computer. Cool. I cry myself to sleep. I mean, we're gonna have to bring that one back. Bring an 88 back. Also, never underestimate the power and authority of the old YOLO blast. That was too much. I'm gonna be real with you. That was significantly too much. This reverb sounds like trash. See, what's cool about this sound is that it fucking sucks. So anyway, what else you guys want to talk about? Uh, I use two computers because one of them is for traveling. Um, and one of them is for when I'm at home and streaming. Do I use headphones? Yeah, I do. Um, this is a desktop. It's, this is the streaming computer. <sighs> we could try making another sound that doesn't suck. How do I sidechain? Let me show you how I sidechain. Bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. Uh, I don't know what this is. It says, oh my god, it didn't crash. Nice. Be organized, you know? It's important. No, I have forgotten that I have to use the bathroom. How do I clip a clean, not muffled, or flat mix? Um... Oh no! Yep, yeah, cause saw that coming. 
Time to reopen the boy. It said the, the title of that project file was thank God it didn't crash that time. Bro, oh my God, it didn't crash nice. So. Uh, oh, what up, Easy Baked? How are you doing, sir? Easy Baked in the chat. We need a specific notification for Easy Baked being in the chat. I'm on it one sec. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Easy Baked, stay here. I need to make a joke. Easy Baked, is he still here? Easy Baked's in the chat. <laughs> Yeah, anyway. I don't think this is my song. I think Sonya made this. Oh, no, this is that one intro I made um, that keeps crashing uh, on the other stream. But it keeps crashing, so I'm not going to open it. And it didn't sound good anyway, so fuck it. I'll open up Clockwork and show you guys how I sidechain Clockwork because I sidechain all of my songs the same way. And I feel like everyone sidechains differently um, because, I don't know, a lot of people do it different ways. Hey, thank you. Um, Everyone's asking when are the songs from EDC going to be done? Uh, I don't fucking know, man, at all. These are just quarantine songs. I don't know if I'm even going to finish them. Today's stream. Do you guys want to guess what it's brought to you by? Let's see if you get it. Do you guys want to guess what today's stream is? What's in my hand right now? If the chat gets it, I'm going to be stuck. Yeah! <laughs> Gamer fuel for real gamer hours. Um, I only 80% of my soul cringed into oblivion when I said that. But only 80. Gamer fuel, fuel for gamers. Um, yeah, we're sponsored by them. And every time I bring it up, I like want to be a silly asshole about things. And then I remembered that like I'm sponsored by them and I have to like be positive it is good i like it and it definitely works <laughs> um effectively it's an effective beverage get a monster sponsor i'm not in charge of these things a box showed up one day and my management was like you're sponsored by g fuel and i was like cool they're like talk about it on switch and i'm like i will i need to smoke weed um Side chaining. I have three lighters in my pocket. Why? <sighs> anyway, side chaining. Reality. Wait for it. So, um, how I sidechain, uh, we got the kick right here, made with kick two, um, I took the click layer, right, bing bong, this bing bong, right, the bing bong right there, <gasps> copied and pasted over to this bing bong, made it obnoxiously loud, I just opened it up and did that right there as you can see, um, dropped the channel volume. Put it on every kick and snare. And then I basically, on every group, I can see, oh, I named the channel Ghost that I did it with. Um, and then, yeah, kick two is the shit. I fucking love it. It's really good. Um, so I only take the click? Yes. Um, because I only want 
Because when you're side chaining something, you're effectively muting other things while it's going on, especially the way I'm side chaining, because I have it 100% all the way down, which means that as soon as it gets signal, the side chain is turned on. I got my ratio all the way up, which means as soon as it gets signal and the side chain is turned on, it is eliminating for an, an infinite amount of decibels sent in, only one is let out, effectively making it zero dB. Um, or negative infinity dB, zero would be full volume. Um, negative infinity dB. Um, can I put my cam on the master so no one can tell me I'm clipping? I'm probably clipping, but oh, you gotta put me on the spot like that, man. Fuck y'all. No, I'm just kidding. I love you guys. <laughs> um, this one is not clipping because we have it. It's brought to you by G Clip. Not to be confused with G Fuel. G Clip. The clip for gamers. Um, hey, what up? Thank you, uh, Lou Card Knit One, for subscribing. Um, words are hard sometimes. Um, but yeah, we're, we're G Clipping because gamer clips. Um, you know? G Clip is not the current most best clip. Uh, people have mostly moved on, honestly. Um, uh, I don't even use this on my P MacBook because it doesn't load on a MacBook. Is Limiter good on Master? I like soft clipping. Um, people have moved on to new weird techniques as well. Um, one of them is like, for example, I know Virtual Riot showed me this one. So, no, you low shelf everything so you, you like get rid of all your low end and then soft clip it and then after that soft clip you bring all the low ends back basically what this means in principle is that for this round of soft clipping since there's no low end you can retain a shitload of transients at that soft clip and then after it you bring the low end back with the transients like super intact and then you soft clip it again and then you can like make that one instrument so we can turn it off and on and see the difference we can we can note the differences so one master approach here saturator soft clip versus this weird fuckery kerfuffle so soft clip Wait for it. that's how that sounds let's test it with this one I think the transients are like just a fucking pubic hair thickness better. Does that make sense? Is it good now that so the master goes over zero dB? I don't fucking, it's, you know. What's the difference between soft clipping and limiting? I actually don't know. Um, I believe soft clipping, uh, I mean, I know I can, I can spot the sound difference. Like I can pick out what it would sound like. Limiter, limiting is more like compression. Soft clipping is more like I guess it adds more harmonics, honestly. And I guess the adding of the harmonics is what helps retain the transients when it's being limited inside of the soft clipping. But I actually don't know the actual science behind it. I just know that I like the way soft clipping sounds over the way hard limiting things. But, um, you know. So what is zero dB in electronic music, kid? Love Screamsaver, second for sure. Um, so but why zero dB is the max I just farted is the max volume is because volume digitally is measured backwards because there's kind of no limit to how loud anything can be so you have to like set an established max volume and measure it backwards so like no volume would be negative infinity full volume is zero db um and anything over zero is just going to be disregarded on the export um so that's why like if you're clipping really hard and most of your song is sitting at zero, but the kicks and the snares are like plus 10. When you export it, that all of the content over zero is going to be lopped off. So you're going to lose that plus five or that plus 10, and you're therefore going to lose that signal, and it's going to just not come through as well. So that's why, like, traditionally in concept or in theory, you're not supposed to, like, clip because you're just going to lose that content. Um, and then also, it will distort and sound bad. Um, you know... It'll just not sound good. Um, 
unless it's what you're going for. Um, or if you do it like stylistically and are able to control it to work it to your advantage, which is kind of what I do. Um, this would be an example of controlling it and working it to my advantage. So like without the soft clipping of any type, Thirteen dB over. But here's the crazy thing. Let's knock the whole thing down twenty dB, and listen to how much louder the drums are than everything else. So when I bring it up twenty, because like when you're really, really, really down low and the drums are like way too loud for everything else that's like not going to sound right, right? But when you start smushing it up against the ceiling, you need that dramatic difference for it to still come through because you're chopping off a ton of that content. So that's why it's such a dramatic difference down low. Again, this is like wrong and like a lot of people will get literally angry at you for mixing like this. Um, there, There's like, like people get actually angry at me about this. It's weird. I mean, it's, it's stupid because it's fucking art. Shut the fuck up. But at the same time, like, I get it. Like, it is technically super incorrect to do it this way. Um, if I went to Icon, I would have been expelled for sure. But I like how it sounds, so fuck off is my answer. Um, uh, what did I do to map the LFO tool to delay earlier? Is there a certain command? Um, in LFO tool, you just click map and then click the parameter. And it goes on. No, not fuck off Icon. I'm sure Icon's a great school. Um, more so fuck off to the elitists who don't believe in non-traditional mixing styles and like are just like really conservative and they're like, you're supposed to do it this way. That's what um, is, I'm saying fuck off to. Because mad people be like, well, his shit's clipping. And I'm like, yeah, it's on purpose because it's art. Anything else you guys want to talk about? Would I have gone to an icon if I had the chance? I probably would have gone, honestly. I would have learned a lot. I just couldn't afford it. And I, I like I was self-taught through making a lot of friends. Um, what are my kicks in, in this song? What are they hitting at? Uh, it would appear to be plus six. What up, Milton? Favorite scales, E minor. You send tracks to get mastered? Nope. Uh, my mastering process is this right here. I actually just explained it. Have I thought about using unconventional scales like the Arabic scales? Yeah, but I'm fucking dumb when it comes to sound design, music theory. I'm primarily a sound design person. I like to try slow these down with Screw Lab sometimes. I don't know what that is. Why the virus have to delay with my Subtronics merch? Oh, I'm sorry. So I soft clip channel individual channels. I actually do sometimes. Um, I do that more by ear. I'm sure a lot of these channels, like a lot of these bases are being soft clipped. That one is not. That one is not. I think the bases probably would be. Yeah, soft clip. But there's stuff happening after. But there's another G clip right here. And then this, honestly, this should be going here. Uh, I guess a lot of these are not being soft clipped. I mean, it really just depends on the song. Sometimes they are. This one is. Without us, but that's not using a soft clipper, though. Strange. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah, not a whole lot of soft clipping on the individual channels on this song. Although I do do that a lot. Um, so how do the kicks not get cut out on the export if they're plus six? That's a great question. Um, they do get cut. Um, but because they're so much louder than everything. Like, so it being plus six wouldn't make any sense if everything wasn't being squashed up against the master. Like, if I was at negative 24 dB... You can hear that uh, the kick is like dramatically louder than everything else, and plus six is like ridiculous. But once you push it up against zero, yes, a lot of that signal is being cut out. 
but it's so much louder than everything else that it almost doesn't matter because it's still that much louder. Um, what's the reason for using two EQs right here? Um, uh, I can explain it again, but basically the idea is that this is the mass channel, right? So I kind of look at like these channels as like from left to right, you're sending the thing through like a series of just machines. So first we're going to cut off the low end so that when we soft clip it, there the soft clipper doesn't have to deal with low end while it's soft clipping. Therefore, it will be able to more effectively retain transients um, and still be soft clipped. Then after the fact, we're going to bring those low end materials back with the transient still intact and then soft clip it again. This time the soft clipping will be le way less going on so the transients won't be affected by the low end being brought back because the bulk of it will have been done by this one. Um, if that makes sense. Play wormhole. It's called string theory but I can play it. I don't have the project file on this computer unfortunately. I don't even know if it's on. Oh yeah it is. This is This is a straight line. I couldn't tell you exactly how G-Clip works, honestly. Um, I don't know, like, the actual fucking uh, science behind it of, like, what the algorithm they're using is and shit like that. Um, but I just know that, like, it every, like, VST is going to have its own minute harmonic differences. And G-Clip, I like them. Then perhaps I could create a shortcut. A shortcut to space and time. I wonder, how can I, like, watermark this so fuckers don't rip it, aside from just pausing it? But then they're just gonna splice it together. I'm talking over this song and you can't rip it, and I'm talking over this song and you can't rip it, ha 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 ha, you can't catch them. Honestly, it's already in my EDC set, so I don't really know what I'm... T R O I B O I This is a wormhole. Bing bong. Wah wah. Yep. Those long notes are mostly uh why didn't I produce this myself? I did produce it myself. I kept that shit solo. I'm tired of doing collabs that blow up, but the solo songs don't. I'm trying to fucking prove that I can do shit by myself. Uh, when's the song with Marshmallow coming out? My fave of the set, no doubt. Um, hopefully soon. We gotta finish that goddamn artwork. Double Feed King. Anyways, oh yeah, you can't rip it because it's feedbacking aggressively. So. <laughs> also, big up Fish Out of Water. How are you doing today? I hope you're well. Um... Purchase your track today. I don't understand what you're getting at, Sean the Tree. I should get back to producing. Is there anything you guys want to see? What's good? What do you guys want to learn right now? Uh, you know. Oh, caught your last show in Toronto. Thank you, Carnival TV. Big up. That was a hella lit show in Toronto. Um, how do I EQ? Writing melodies. Let's 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 go back. Let's go back. New live set. No. Make a drum and bass track. Man, I'm not talented enough for that shit. <laughs> sub bass tricks. Use hip hop sub. It's tight as hell. And side chain it. Oh no. Cool. I like to use hip hop sub. So like. Where's my splice back? There it is. Uh, 
and then I said 150. And then we're gonna get some kicks just for placeholders. And then a snare. That tail is aggressively too long. Jeez Louise. I hate that transient. Making a song with samples that I made earlier. Making a song with sample that I made. Sounds good, bro. Sounds great. Good. Nice. Did I say that sounded good? Because it doesn't. Anyway. Um, sub bass. What I was talking about and the reason why I started doing this in the first place. Um, I generally just open up a hip hop sub. Do E minor because I am not creative. Kind of place it over the main parts of the sound. This is more of a stylistic thing you can do. This one has two. So I'm going to kind of just. Oh. Oh. And then from there, you can do stuff like. But we're also forgetting the all important sidechain. The all important side chain. All hail the side chain. Don't forget to actually do your side chain and make sure it's on. Because for four fucking years, I didn't realize that I was supposed to change this from two to one to infinity. True story. Do I need to put the click volume to max? No, but I did. Um, you know. I selected the wrong thing. Because I was going too fast. That snare sucks. That, that, that snare sucks. That, that, that snare sucks. Are we doing claps again? Yeah. Probably. Because I like my claps more anyway. Yeah. But you need drums, and by drums I mean cymbals, and I'm pretty sure I hate all of these cymbals, but we can try some of them. Don't forget that you're making rhythm, so you gotta push it off grid. There you go, dumb step. What do I mean off grid? See this right? Oh, 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 oh. 
Bing bong. Delays. They're super cool. So this right here. Press this button right here. You got delays. Delay that shit. Makes it more rid of me. Deal with your other stuff. That was too much. Maybe just do it with your bases. I don't know. A lot of times in rhythm, when you when you do this and you push it off grid, it just got more uh, unk to it. Sounding pretty not fucking horrible, I guess. For a, a person who like hates 90% of my sounds. Makes this more interesting. Bro. So much trial and error is really the theme. That's tight. Um, tips for sub erosion. EQ out the click when you're side chaining. Do that before the erosion, or else the erosion is kind of a waste of time. <laughs> Man J, fool. You get the idea. Do I pitch that up or just speed? Um, I stretched the boy out and switch it to repitch mode, um, which is what pitched it down so much. Uh, will I be remixing one of the Disciple tracks? No. What's up? How am I doing? I'm all right. Would I ever do my remix contest for the boys? Maybe. Maybe one day. Potentially. Would I ever do a remix contest for the boys? I don't know, man. <sighs> Would I make a label? I kind of already did, but I only, I'm the only one who releases on it. Would I ever release an album? Yeah. Do I normally sound design session, then make tracks? Kind of. Um, I do both. I turned my webcam off for obvious reasons just now. <laughs> When does the marshmallow track drop? Uh, find out.
<coughs> oh no. <coughs> Hi. I do have face plant, but I'm not big on it. Cyclops Army Festival once uh, this is over with, yes. Oh, bottom right, yeah. I mean, the festival wouldn't be for a fucking while. I'm, just, I'm literally just saying that I don't actually have any money or anything. What are pigments? Am I ever going to move to Cali? Unlikely. Unlikely. Would I ever go back to back with Boogie in LA? Yeah. Uh, the distortion on that cough blew my eardrums out. I'm sorry. I don't know what that Arturia pigments is. I'm not sure. Do I make my own drums? I layer a lot. Um, I live in Philadelphia. Um, my kicks are transient shaped and OTT and I make them with kick two right now. Do I have a favorite venue of all time? Probably Red Rocks. Um, Brock is one of my favorite first people to tour to back to back with ever. <sighs> when you get an official remix of God Loves Ugly soon, tips on sending demos, send them early in the morning so I get to them and use SoundCloud, please. <clears throat> Which doll is easiest to use? Whichever one is your best personal workflow. Someone said, bro, really? Really? What? I don't know. Um, have I played the Armory? Uh, I think so. I've been smoking more flour. Gotta make it out to Red Rock sometime. You do. We have production questions. God Loves Ugly is soon. I've, I know I keep saying soon, but it really is soon. Just pause the replay of EDC YouTube to come watch you. Oh, big up. Show us some Kick 2. I don't actually know if I have Kick 2 on here. Do I? anyone see it I don't have kick two on here I could get the demo and show y'all some stuff it's honestly really self-explanatory uh, no there's no demo version that I'm seeing how much of yours are in serum how much of my what my bases almost all of them except for uh uh, uh, operator. Make a clap with kick too. I've never actually done that. What was my first big break? Probably playing Camp Bisco. Resample trick I do the most. Um, I really like uh the restretching. I like stretching shit. Like that. That's pretty tight. Let's try. Let's try and utilize this somehow. So. Hold shift while it's in warp mode to just do that. That's a cool sound, man. Not feeling these hats at all. Yes, I am. Anyway. <coughs> Do I save my vids? Yes. Could I realistically make a decent Ableton 10 intro? Do I really need the full suite? Wait. Can you realistically make a decent track in Ableton 10 intro? Uh, I don't know, man. I've never had intro, so I wouldn't know how limited you are. But I would guess that you are pretty limited, yeah. How do you find the key of a sample? Oh, I know the answer. Let me show you. Um, so you take a kick, right? What key could this kick possibly be? What could it be? You grab an EQ8. You you click up up that little arrow right there. Make that big. Where's the peaking frequency? Looks like that little bit right there, right? 
All right, well, what's that little box in the bottom left say? D sharp zero. This kick is in D sharp. Boom, roasted. We know the key of it. We know the key of the kick drum. Yeah, dude, isn't that a fun little trick? So, like, theoretically speaking, these bases should be in D. Because now the bases are in tune with the sub. Um, and if we wanted to go a step further, we want to look at the phase of this kick. Starting out going up, we should look at the phase of the sub. Make sure that matches that. And it's going up. Should be all right. <coughs> Show us VIP buildups, please. I don't know what you mean by that. Um, what made you want to make music? When I turned five years old, my dad said, what instrument are you going to play? And I said, drums. Um, do I like to get high before I sit down to start making music, or do I like to take a break? Uh, I smoke all day, so both both is the answer to that. Um, is it a bad idea cranking up the limiter on your master? I don't really know. I don't really use a limiter on my master. Uh, in this instance, I would use G Clipper or Soft Clipper. I don't really crank it, I just bing bong. I've definitely lost a good bit of transients going on. Let's process these drums that we tad. Uh, transient shaper, transient shaper, there you are. Good soft clip it. Because, sure, why not, you know? Let's group these together because they're both the snare. Soft clip that. And then also, get these low frequencies out of the way. You got a kick going on. You don't want those overlapping. Not at all. Oh, the transient is garbage. And honestly, this shit's wide as hell, too. Seems like we kind of need that little bop right there. Yeah, the echo is because my uh, my mic is still on, um, and I'm sorry. What speakers do I use? Uh, Barefoot Footprint Ones. They've taken me eight years of making and promoting music to work my way up to. Um, I used to drool over KRKs, and now they are my monitor stand. I'm not even fucking kidding right now. I'll show you. Look at this bullshit. I'm such a piece of garbage. I'm using KRKs as my monitor stand because I don't use them anymore and I needed to raise my screen and then the barefoots are right there. Um, these speakers are pure sex in audio form and they're I think the best sounding speaker I've ever heard. The only speakers I've heard that sound better than bare than these are higher models of these um, or certain focales or like ATX or those like fucking ridiculous custom built speakers. Uh, fucking Marshmallow had these monitors in his speaker in his studio that were like outrageously ridiculous. Um, but you know, um, uh, Focal or a uh, Barefoot, uh, both sound really good. Um, <coughs> someone just said I only mix in my DT seven seventies, and that's perfectly fine. You're probably better off than most people doing that, legitimately. Um, yeah. Uh, people underestimate the the quality of mixing and headphones. You know, if you got a pair of Audio Technicas, that's fucking fine. Do I support psychedelics? Yes, but it really depends on the person as to how often you can do them. Um, personally, I only really do them like once or twice a year. It's kind of like flushing your brain toilet. Sometimes you need to flush your toilet, man. But if you flush it like right after flushing it like ten times in a row, that might some plumbing systems can't handle that. Um, it but it's on you to make that decision as an adult um but that's just me have i ever played on a danley rig i don't know um break the toilet okay i've met some people who have for sure broken their toilets 
and I'm like, you're fried. Um, that's possible to happen, you know, so be careful. Um, <laughs> everyone's like, I love that analogy. It's so true though. Like I, re I, I was, I was on acid when I came up with that analogy too. I was like, oh my God, of course. Um, but again, I only really do hallucinogenics, um, once every few months or less. Um, I don't think I could see myself doing them at all right now while being on quarantine. Um, cause I'm just a really anxious person as well. Um, so I got to be really, really careful and pick my spots. I honestly seem to only do <coughs> hallucinogenics when I'm like, in like best case scenario moments. Like I did it forest, like right after my set. Cause it was like all the pressure was off and now I could just enjoy the festival. I don't have to worry about anything. I'm where I'm supposed to be. I'm with all of these people who I like a lot. Um, that was like a good time for that. Um, like after my set, but like right now, no, I couldn't handle that shit. I'd fucking freak out. I already have anxiety attacks every day. I can't fucking throw acid on top of that. Um, but anyway, sound design tips, um, you know, I don't know. I was just kind of sound designing earlier. You could just pick up stuff that I'm doing. Uh, it's not like getting good at sound design is just like figuring out a bunch of weird techniques and tricks and just adding them together and mixing, matching them, mixing and matching them and being like quick at trying things and then moving on. It's about like getting fast with the keyboard and mouse almost. I'll do operator now. I'll do a sound design session with operator, like a real quick one. That's like truly horrible, but we're getting there. I like hate this. Camel Crusher on here. That's a really big bummer. I'm going to be real. I'm bummed out about that. I wish I had Camel Crusher on here, and I don't. Not you, Multiband Dynamics. I don't need you. I'm already doing that. do I want to do to you next? See, this is, this is where you gotta, you gotta, this is it. I just fell into that pothole. You know what I mean? Where you gotta, you gotta just keep it. As soon as you like think you lose, you trip over, you fall. You just gotta keep fucking going. 
This is honestly the time where I would start to like think about resampling it and automating specific stuff. so many of the plugins that I use sucks but I suppose I can do stock bullshit as well that's operator weird um, why am I freezing this I don't have any reason to be So much of producing is, is removing stuff as much as it is adding stuff. I mean, like, it depends on what you mean, destroy the sound. I just like that pronunciation. The... Now that you say OTT is destroying the sound for you, buddy. We're putting three of them. And it sounds better. You can't make it, you can't, you just can't make it up. See, what I, what I fuck with heavily is that first ka -ka -ka -ka. Great transient to that sound, man. Phenomenal. Super dry. It's a great machine gun layer. Check this out. And then God said, actually, no, don't do that. It sounds terrible. And I was like, but, and he was like, and I was like, that was not the way. But here's what you do at that point. Excessive bullshit, um, you know? Where is Disperser? You fucking fuck Disperser. I don't have Disperser on this computer and I cry. Maybe we're not gonna do it that way. But regardless, cool things did done happen over here. That's a great, that's a great, I like that. All y'all motherfuckers can sit down.
And let's not forget that everything should be sidechained. Like the whole damn song, honestly. So we're just going to group it. How long have I been streaming for? I don't know. Where is it? There it is. Should have named a ghost. It just sounds like a fucking hi hat, so never mind. Bing bong. Um, and you want to try five utilities at full gain, two OTTs, a delay, and mess with the delayed, delayed time. <sighs> Yeah. And then what'd you say? Two OTTs? This is this is stupid. Uh and then a delay and then mess with the delay time. And then on top of all this, what I'm gonna do to protect your fragile little ears. Um Yeah. That's what I thought would happen. That's not enjoyable at all. Someone's like, no, it sounds good. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it definitely depends on the sound. One yike. No, I do know what uh, what concept you're talking about, though. Lee goes on about it all the time. Let's do it with a sound that doesn't have amp on it, first off. Doesn't even already have it. That actually is more interesting. That's not like horrible. No, there's no such thing as like a uh, something too extreme. Like I forgot this started with operator. All oh, right. It's funny because that makes like no difference. y'all talking about yeah definitely needs soothe um and i don't have soothe on this computer i don't think i might i do do i i don't upsetting it's fine there 
there's no realistic application for that at like at all. Um, but we could frequency shift it. Fuck it. Right? Sort of? I don't know. Do you maybe get to still... What are you talking about? I have Soothe. Just not on this computer. Ah, talking about Soothe. Oh, right. It's the second bing bong I'm not stoked on. Yeah. That's actually not terrible. Um, but it's got to follow it. So to come back to this, this how I was doing subs before, we just got to do the same thing again. We can, we can use this, I think. That does not work. So that was actually entirely operator and stock plugins and OTT and utility. Um, a bunch of vocoders. Yeah. I hope that a few guys are, are satisfied with, with that, that process that we just witnessed. Um, that was like a whip start to finish pretty much. Um, can loop it. 
I need to get in the habit of doing that. Like, literally fucking everyone does, and I feel like I'm the only one who doesn't. Reminds me of, like, Moody Good and Leo Tricks a little bit. Weed time? Weed time. Love it. The boing. Um, I might delete the boing. I don't know. I'm like probably not going to finish this. Just doing it for the sake of educatings. Although what's cool is that I feel like this kind of sounds unique for me. I don't really, this is like a more unique sounding uh, song for my normal stuff. <coughs> Putting weed in the weed so I can weed the stuff. Doing weed stuff. I'm, so, I'm like too lazy to use a grinder right now. Delete the bong. Okay, I'll delete the bong. Goddamn. Waiting for cough sound. You gotta wait for packing bowl sound. Yeah, definitely drink water as well. Water would be good. I'll be like... Okay, I'll be the guy. How the fuck do you get that Akios style super sharp kind of shit? I don't know really what you mean, but Akios is like very off grid. <coughs> don't do what? Don't delete the bong or delete the bong. Do you guys want bong deletion? Boing, not bong. <coughs> I mean, it's, it's kind of an essential worker in the song right now. I don't think I would like to delete it. Yeah, it, it makes it a thing. This needs a, another layer of something. Um, I don't know what that something might be. Perhaps it'd be a sawtooth, uh, something basic. Something also with operator. Could this be an entire song made out of operator? Stay tuned and find out. My cat is going nuts right now.
Someone said, how's the cat? That's how the cat is. I like square. myself making a one over six song today but here the fuck we are the phase of this LFO is not quite where I want it. Um, <clears throat> where do I fuck with the phase? Honestly. Uh, that's amount. That's amount. I can't edit the phase, I don't believe. Let's just restart via gate. Angry Grandpa? How do I feel about nearly beating Skrillex? I don't think stuff like that really means anything, honestly. Um, and I think the contests like that are also, like, partially biased just because Cyclops Army is really, like, not like, it's just really big. It's like a really big Facebook group compared to a lot of other people. So there's definitely like an advantage in that because we could just be like, and go. And it's just like, Poof. which is lit. <laughs> but, uh, you know, why do you, why, what? I like can't see at all. Oh, okay. There. Huh. What? I want to be able to see where this is like actually doing so I can like move it into place, you know? Well, I can still do that theoretically. That actually worked first try. Fuck me. Bing bong, bong, bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, bing bing, bing bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. Didn't work. Back to the drawing board. See, like, that works. Why did it not work when I looped it? Um, a bingus bongus. Um, yeah, it's just real screechy. I gotta EQ it for sure. Definitely would make people's ears bleed. Don't want that. Or, do, or you do. But I don't know. This song is, like, kind of like a dog whistle right now. And I want Ellie to be able to enjoy this as well. There's two like hideously harsh frequencies that definitely need to be fixed. Um, but there's one and then 
Uh, there's a, okay. Uh, got him. We got him, boys. Girls. <laughs> Cool. Um, that was cool. I like making things that are actually almost decently s decent uh, within the two hour period. They're like, I would debatably play this. Stream your go to when making sound waves? No, this is actually all operator. This whole damn thing is all straight operator. Let's get rid of this. Get rid of. Uh, can un unfreeze. I fuck with that. gonna literally real quick crunch boy impacts this sound good and nice and I'm gonna put him on Dropbox for myself cuz I would like to use those later cool sound man upload files crunch boy impacts open and then I'm also going to take this and do this and export this. Basically, moody good. Save. And then I'm going to put that on Dropbox as well for myself. So I have it to move it onto my MacBook. Anything else I want to steal from myself? literally so dumb you need to stop everyone just wants you to stop please just don't anymore I love how while typing that it went ding <laughs> uh, hysterical timing um, and maybe this bing bong right here that's cool Oh. Off screen things are happening. I'm putting stuff on my Dropbox. Ah, so it's not complete shit. Cool. And we're back. Um, what's going on, you guys? I'll take one, but I don't know how to use it when it pops up. I'll take one, Chief. What is what is this man's offering? Pasquale, your chicken nuggets box was jokes. Oh, I threw it out like like right before the stream. Oh, Midwest headbang is lit. You guys are super cool, and I appreciate you guys. Thank you, sir. Um, that's very cool of you. Can we touch on the mix down process? Yes. So having a really good mix down is pretty much, I don't have a cat. Lex has a cat name personally, but I don't have a cat. I love you Midwest headbangers. Um, so mix down process, there's like a bunch of stuff that just goes into having a good mix down. The three main principal things for me are everything being 
at the right volume in relation to one another. Um, meaning like your kicks and your snares are punching through is the loudest thing <coughs> with your sub and your bass is in second place. And then your cymbals behind that and your sweeps behind that, um, things fitting in its own space in the frequency spectrum, things fitting in their own space in the stereo f spectrum in terms of width. Um, those are the three main things, honestly, uh, just your individual sounds. Like it's a picture like this. If you have a kid who's in middle school, right? And it's uh, the biannual orchestra fucking uh, thing, assembly that you gotta go to. So the parents are coming to see their kid play in the orchestra. It's once a year, it's exciting times. Um, and their kid's playing the triangle, right? And the mom's like filming. She's trying to get her kid uh, to, she's trying to hear the triangle sound out of all the other shit. Um, every sound in your song Imagine is your kid and you want to be able to hear them. Um, so like a really good mix down means you could hear everything clearly without the things fighting each other for space. Everything's working together and everything's coming through clear. You'd be like, listen for the hi-hat and you could completely hear the hi-hat textured, all the qualities of the hi-hat unbothered by the other sounds, you know? Um, listen for the sub. The sub is consistent, um... You can hear it clearly. It's not being muffled by the kick. It's not being muffled by the snare. The beginning and the end of each sub note is clearly defined. The beginning and the end of every sound is clearly defined. Um, and not just, I mean, for me, I do it as I go. But like an example of that would be, you know, running the side chain the way I've been doing it off the bat um, and side chaining this group. That's an instance of me mixing while I go. Also, the way I'm setting things volumes, just using my ears to do that. Um, you know, is, is another way. Game staging is kind of a training your ears type situation um, and just how loud you make things and when you bring them in. Uh, Stereo-wise, I could definitely probably touch on this for sure. Um, what sound is being soloed right now? Oh, this one. Don't like this sound. You can go away forever. Should we do, maybe we can do some uh, tuplets? Nope to all of that. What was the fucking command that they posted the other day? Yeah, there it is.
No. Literally no idea what I'm doing. Oh right, that was that thing I did. I did, I did, I ha I, I would have been fucking with it though. Those are cool little boys. Nope. Have I ever done a show or met Getter? Um, yes. Uh, ever after I was getting my headphones together. <coughs> and I have a sticker that says Subtronics in my headphone case. And I wasn't looking around. I was looking over. I'd get my headphones together. And from off screen, a finger comes in and goes, Subtronics, right? And I'm like, yeah. And I look up, and it was Getter. And I was like, in my head, I was like, ah! But in real life, I was like, hey, man, nice to meet you. Um, and he was actually a really nice guy and really cool and pretty easy to talk to. Definitely an internal fanboy restraint moment for sure. Only because I've been following him for, like, fucking a million years. Um, back when he was on, like, Firepower and shit. Um, back when Planet Neutral was, like, a huge deal. Way before that, even. Um, I did it in Ableton. I just recorded it. The Subtronics watermark, this thing. Subtronics. That was just my voice and a bunch of different pitching arounds of it and processing shit. I'm not adopting a cat. I just adopted a puppy. It's enough. It's enough work. Yeah, and I like literally got a snake right before that too. A Free Films hit me up on his, it replied to my Instagram story, and he, he was just like, Lamal, your house is a fucking zoo. And I was like, I know. Help me. That's the clean boy right there.
Okay, big up. Did I guess list that guy? No. Uh, I haven't been reading the chat. I'm sorry. I'm so happy you got to meet Jesse Chicago. Gave me the perler. Fuck yeah, dude. Rez just bought her house in Florida. But Florida doesn't have legal weed. I mean, I wouldn't buy a house in Florida. Too fucking humid, though. That's my reason. Bro. Uh. Midwest headbanger. You are awesome. Holy shit. Thank you, sir. You echo. That's why that sounded so fucking wrong. I almost caught a flow in there. Hold on.
four hype train. Holy fuck. Midwest, you are lit as hell. Big up, it's ya pando for subscribing. Also, for everyone subscribing, I will be doing more live sets uh, soon on here. I just haven't been because of EDC. trick I was talking about earlier right now I'm gonna master this song about an hour into working on it cuz that's just the fucking way I roll sometimes and we're gonna have to just accept it uh, do the thing 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 thing is done plus eight point three one <clears throat> that rhymed What's going on on the internet? Oh my god, deemed you're ridiculous. I don't know if <laughs> fucking deemed uh, one of my favorite producers from way back in the day who's not really into dubstep anymore just posted like this on Instagram. <laughs> You're silly. Oh, I should text Chris happy birthday. The internet is boring today. Wow, that was from a long time ago. Bing bong, bing 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 bong. Bing bong, I should be doing stuff. We have a hype train going on right now and I'm literally just fucking sitting here scrolling on my phone like some asshole. Um, is there anything in particular that you guys are trying to Oh my god. Bro, now Danielle's gifting subs. You guys are fucking so awesome. I appreciate this so much. You guys are so cool. Sony you got a sub? Oh my god. <laughs> level 5. I don't know if we've hit level 5 before. This is crazy. On a production stream nonetheless, which are generally the less hype ones. Can I do a mud pie session in the future? What is that? I don't know what a mud pie, I don't know what mud pie is. We are extremely curious about what type of VST or knobs you're usually tweaking. What's the best tip I ever learned? Um, how about them UFOs? Uh, so the best tip I ever learned, I don't know. Moon River Rock, Moon River Roll, you got it. Um, what's the best tip I ever learned? The snare is the most important thing in your mix down. Moon River Rock. Moon River Roll. Hey. 
Has this ever happened to you? You bought a house who has not disclosed to you that there was a termite infestation in the walls and in the molding? Calling, and one of them is standing in the bathroom doorway shouting at you and his friend's foot stuck in the toilet? Dog again. I had to I look at it for vegetables. Into what's that? Don't listen to him. He tricked me too. It's not exactly in my cue zone. It is. I mean, yeah, it's also Johnny's cue zone. Johnny, how much you do palm tree for? Palm tree girls and palm tree guys. Go give it to Johnny. Go give it to Johnny. Hold on. Let, Let me think for a minute. For a minute. Moon River Rock. Moon River Roll. All right. Snare is the most important thing in the mix, um, cause I don't fucking know why, it just is. It ties the whole room together. If your snare sucks, the rest of the song's gonna suck. Also, generally, if you're able to get your snare sounding good, chances are you're technically proficient enough to get everything else sounding good. Um, so. Yeah. I paid you 10 grand to make me a star. Denver stretch. I don't know what that means. Oh my god. All these bits. Thank you, Danielle. Real goopy. Dexter Dante. I don't know how to actually pronounce your handle. If music was a sandwich, the snare would be the bread. What up, Alec? Uh, you didn't miss much. I made this. Which kind of sucks, but it's whatever. Moon River Rock. Moon River Roll. You told me I could sing. I listened to the fans. I gave you $10,000 to make me a star. $10,000 to make me. $10,000 to make you. $10, I gave you. 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 Moon River Rock, Moon River Roll. Laughed at me. We gotta fly Jeff Christos down here to mix it down professionally. Chris down from Indiana to mix it professionally. That song is rocking, baby. We gotta fly. That song is rocking, baby. Like, obviously, we're gonna use that. I gave you $10,000 to make me 
Done. Song's done. I think we're that's that's about it. Um, right? Alvin and the Muff fucking chipmunks. No more scaring adults into, into thinking, thinking they're, they're stars. stars. Bobby, where's my ex on them all weekend and my song never came on? Oh, uh, nobody tricked you. He didn't trick me. I'm totally in your Q zone, all right? Don't start this with me. Don't start this with me, Robbie. I can't sing. Guaranteed goddamn hit, all right? It's not exactly in my Q zone. Is well, it? I mean, yeah, it's also in Johnny's Q zone. Johnny, how much you do palm tree for? Palm tree girls with palm tree guys. Don't give it to Johnny. Don't give it to Johnny. Hold on. Let me think about it for a minute. Think about it for a minute, for a minute, for a minute. I gave you ten thousand dollars to make me a star. Think about it for a minute, for a minute, for a minute. I gave you ten thousand dollars to make me a star. <laughs> Am I a bad person for that? Probably gonna dip soon because we've been, we've been going for a while.
this with me, Robbie. I don't start this with me, Robbie. I can't sing. Every goddamn hit, all right? It's not exactly in my Q zone. It's well, not in my Q zone. My Q zone, Johnny, how much you do palm tree for? Palm tree girls, the palm tree girl. For. Palm tree girls, for. palm tree girls, the palm tree guys. Don't give it to Johnny. Palm tree girls, the palm tree guy. Don't give it to Johnny. Don't give it to Johnny. Hold on. Let me think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Think, 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 think. I gave you ten thousand dollars. Lex, come here. Don't start this with me, Robbie. I can't. Oh my God! Can't, all right, it's not exactly in my cues. <laughs> <laughs> my cues, I'm Johnny. How much you do palm tree for? It? Palm tree girls, the palm tree. Wait, but why do you like? Why do you detone it? Hold on. Let me think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. I gave you ten thousand dollars to make me a star. <laughs> Uh, okay, hold on. Or not so much. Their voices are so fucking funny. Or wait, or can you get in trouble for that? No, that's not what it is. Okay. I, was, I was doing it. I was warping it time wise yeah. and to and, and maintain like, her, uh, I don't know what the I don't know what type of integrity, but like when you pitch stuff, it will change. Like it does have yeah, to do yeah, some yeah. sort of algorithm to do that. So I was just uh repitch is the, like I the most clean one. Don't are... start this with me, Robbie. <laughs> so much funnier. Funnier. I can't hit. All right, it's not exactly my. Oh my god, Grady's gonna lose his fucking mind. <laughs> <laughs> um uh this is a bad song, um, and I should feel bad for making it. It's fine. Think about it, think about it, think about it, think, 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 think. I gave you ten thousand dollars to make me a star. Think about it, think, 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 think. I gave you ten thousand dollars to make me a star. Yeah. Cause fuck it, you know? Me, Robbie, I can't sing. Every goddamn hit, alright? It's not exactly in my Q zone. It's not in my Q zone. Also, Johnny's Q zone. Johnny, how much you do? Palm tree. Palm tree, girls, the palm tree guy. Don't give it to Johnny, don't give it to Johnny. Hold on. Let me think about it, think about it, think about it, think about it, think about it. I gave you ten thousand dollars to make me a star.
Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Save. Leave in place. Actively pretty bad, but we might be able to clean it up. I don't know. Exploratory sound design times. I mean, pretty funny if that's all we took away from it. I mean, this isn't really an intro, this is more of a meme. Don't start this with me, Robbie. I can't sing. Everything goddamn hit, alright? It's not exactly my Q-Zo. I mean, it's also John's Q-Zo. Johnny, how much you do palm tree for? Palm tree girls with palm tree guys. Don't give it to Johnny! Don't give it to Johnny! Hold on! Look at this! The phone! The phone! The phone! The phone! I gave you ten thousand dollars to make me a star! What's going on here that's not... I'm confused. Oh.
Hey, thank you. Oh man, I've been going for two hours and 30 minutes. Thousand dollars to make me a star! <laughs> I cannot answer that question yet. Don't start this with me, Robbie. I can't see. Everything goddamn hit, all right? It's not exactly in my Q-Zone. It's, I mean, it it's also Johnny's Q-Zone. Johnny, how much you did palm tree for? Palm tree girls with palm tree guys. Don't give it to Johnny. Don't give it to Johnny. Hold on. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I gave you $10,000 to make me a star. I'm going to turn my mic off so you guys can actually hear this. Shut up, Adam! Don't start this with me, Robbie. I can't sing. It's a guaranteed goddamn hit, all right? It's not exactly in my Q-Zone. I mean, it, yeah, it's also in Johnny's Q-Zone. Johnny, how about you do Palm Tree for it? Palm Tree Girls, the Palm Tree Guy. Don't give it to Johnny. Don't give it to Johnny. Hold on. Let me think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. I gave you ten thousand dollars to make me a star. This 
song is rocking. <laughs> to that station you told me all weekend and my song never came on. Don't listen to him, he tricked me. Yep, I've been muted, it's fine. Get ready for the whole chat to say muted even though I unmuted myself already. Is that Muzzy Bear? Like real Muzzy Bear? What the fuck is good, man? It's been a minute. I miss you, if that's really you. I think it's you. I, I don't see why it wouldn't be. Hello? Yes! Hello, I miss and love you too. Fuck yeah, I hope you're good. Bruh, did you know that I think you are muted and... <laughs> Hey, thank you, man. I appreciate that. I'm good. Um, you know, back and forth, as everyone probably is. Um, staying busy, keeping myself sane. Um, I feel like uh, my biggest anxiety is, like, maintaining, mo like, momentum, like, career-wise throughout quarantine and everything. And that's why I'm fucking making new songs, like, every, every single day until one of them's exciting enough to release. Um, what plugin would I recommend to someone who's starting out with music production? I mean, stock Ableton is lit. You really only need that. I mean, Serum too, obviously, but you don't need it by any stretch of the imagination. This is entirely, actually, I think 100% stock, um, Ableton, with the exception of, uh, OTT, which you could use multiband dynamics for. So this is actually 100% just Ableton. I was not muted. I'm looking at my mic. <laughs> Massive is fun. I used Massive for years. Um, all right. I've been going for... Uh, I can go a little bit longer. I just feel bad leaving Sonya upstairs with the puppy to fend for herself. <sighs> I like faceplant, but I, I don't like faceplant. Um, it's a weird situation for me. I'm going to collect all and save so I can... Uh, how do I exit full screen? Ah, there we go. Full screen has been exited. I'll save live set as new whip 519. Hey, big up, Muzzy Bear. Thank you for subscribing. I'll probably, I will subscribe to your channel as well once I am done here. Yeah, I love Kilo Hearts FX a lot. Oh, that was Midwest Headbangers. Big up. Oh, hell yeah. Um, Midwest Headbangers is just fucking giving them out. Um, yeah, all the Kilo Hearts FX stuff is fantastic. That's not on this PC, unfortunately. It's all on my main production MacBook. Um, again, um, I'm using uh, this computer solely for streaming purposes. It is not my primary production computer. Um, so I'm, I'm missing a lot of stuff. Um, hence the, this is an entirely stock project right now. Um, but I'm collecting all and saving and then I'm going to put it, here's a fun little trick for when you guys are trying to transfer project files effectively, save live set as to a new folder on your desktop, collect all and save, go to yonder desktop, uh, winwar that boy into a zippy boy. And then put it, go to Dropbox, which I'm not going to show you. And then click Upload Files, which I'm not going to show you. And then you click that zip, and then you open it. And then I could just show you Dropbox. Yeah, there's nothing super incriminating. Oh, yeah, there is. Never mind. <laughs> Whoopsie. Um, hopefully no one saw that. Cool. Um... Yeah, and then you can just open that from anywhere. You can access your Dropbox, and uh, you're good to go. 
but this is a pretty solid whip for two hours and like considering the first hour was just me fucking around not actually doing anything um so yeah i'm probably gonna get going because i have to use the bathroom really bad now um but i'll be back uh thursday for demo listen feedback so tips for everyone um who is trying to get in on that um the best way to get listened to is send your shit in like first thing in the morning thursday morning um yeah so uh, uh i do stream binding of isaac i do that every saturday i'll probably be doing that this saturday as well um actually no this saturday i'm thinking about um restreaming my edc set um even though you can really watch it on YouTube anytime. Um, I might just stream it on here as well because I want to pl post more sets. Um, and then I'm also going to start doing sets on here again soon. Um, very soon. Uh, I just want to get some other things out of the way. Um, I know that's like the main reason most of y'all subscribed and everyone's probably pretty frustrated that there haven't been like any sets since you've been subscribed. So I apologize for that. Um, I just want to be able to keep them exciting and, and new and fresh. Um, and not oversaturate them. So that's really what's going on. Um, I'll be doing more live streams on here definitely sh soon. Maybe not this week, maybe not next week, but in a few weeks or a month or so. Um, I'll be doing it like pretty consistently. Uh, <sighs> maybe I can show you guys how to DJ in virtual DJ. Hold on. I'll do like a 10 second virtual DJ set. All right. Let's go. Oh, I need to open iTunes. Yeah, demos, demos this Thursday. 2018 rhythm, pass the blocks. All right, we're gonna play a set like really quick with my mouse. iTunes was playing and that was garbage. <laughs> 10 out of 10 would end my day with it. Um, quad dropping with a mouse pad is s sort of difficult. Um, you know. <laughs> Thank you. 
Um, so that's what uh, freestyling quad drops with all, all songs from that are five years old with a mouse would look, sound like, and it was pretty bad. Um, anyway, uh, my DJing uh, has come a long way since the way the times I used to DJ like that. Um, Bing bong. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. Um, I hope that was fun for you. I hope you guys learned something. Let's listen to this one more time. And then I'll get the fuck out of here, except, oh no, there's no more audio for some reason. I don't know why there's no audio. Um, hmm. 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 Peculiar. Peculiar. What? Yeah, why are all these turned off? Now I'm very confused. What happened? There we go. Okay. Don't start this with me, Robbie. I can't sing. Eric, you goddamn hit, all right? It's not exactly in my cue zone. It's well, I, I mean, yeah, it's, it's also Johnny's cue zone. Johnny, how much you do palm tree for? Palm tree girls with palm tree guys. Don't give it to Johnny. Don't give it to Johnny. Hold on. Let me take the ball. 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 I gave you $10,000 to make me a star. Some of these are not doing. I need to send this to G Space. Uh, Grady, do I even have you on Facebook? Grady skirt skirt. Grady, need to put this on Dropbox. Brother Love. <laughs> I love him so much. <laughs> He's going to lose his mind. He's going to like one second on a call right now. All right, we're all in check, and then we'll head out. Uh, okay. Palm tree girls of palm tree guys. Yeah. <laughs> 
He's like, I can see the palm tree, 20% palm tree, and I'm already dying. Limau. Our Romans have actually been like pretty on point recently. They just suck right now. Anger. Frustration. Oh, man. Wow. How embarrassing for me. Ugh. I'm not making my own poi. Wow, this is awful. Still awful. Still awful. Ugh, man. Where's the whirlwind? Where's the fucking whirlwind, bro? Ugh. I don't think I've missed one spike. At least there's that. If I missed a spike, I would just jump out the window. <sighs> Something about whirlwinding on Twitch, dude. I, like, physically can't. I'll get, like, six in a row off camera. And then I just can't do it on stream. It's, like, my, such a mental block. I feel like if I like practice meditation or some shit, I'd get better at whirlwinding in front of people. I literally got two whirlwinds first try yesterday. And then this. Oh my god. Even when I get this, I'm not going to be stoked because it took so long. Okay, this try. God damn, dude. Get a bird to whirlwind. Let's make it harder on myself. Bird. Damn it. Okay. Bro, I can't even get a bird. Oh my god. Bird. Bird turn to spike. Missed the whirlwind. Okay. Maybe a juggle to spike. Bro. Twitch Kandama is truly a curse. That wasn't even, like, a good attempt. That was, like, sad. That was also sad. What the fuck, man? Thank you. Ugh. It's not even exciting when it takes that long. It's just bummed. Like, the only way to redeem yourself from that is getting two in a row. Let's get the lighthouse. It's a J-stick. Oh. Maybe the lunar to UFO? Eh. Lunar? Ah, oh, I missed the UFO. Missed the UFO. Let's get a UFO real quick. Nope. Wow, dude. I keep on going too late. Okay. Man. Oh, it went in.
all of these tricks that I get pretty well are just gone. Gone when I'm on Twitch. They don't exist anymore. It's like when you're 12 and you go to the skate park and you can't even land a kickflip. Let me get the fucking UFO so I can go poop. Oh my god. Thank you. Have a good day, everybody. Um, yeah, I'll see you Thursday for demo listen feedback. Um, and then Saturday I'll probably play video games. And I might stream my EDC set and then after play video games. See you guys. Love you all. Thanks for coming. Uh, interact with me on all of the other platforms like Twitter and Instagram and stuff. Pretty responsive. Love y'all. Have a good day.